played better than he did bad. Yeah. I mean, he played good better than bad. I'm just really surprised at how well he's playing. He's making a lot of smart decisions, uh, you know, from the snaps to the way he's approaching with stagger shorts and everything. His neutral game seems to be very solid. Defense is solid. I mean, he seems Look, like the full package player He's right not now. getting hit by this. the random hits or the random lightnings that Richard's going for to try to convert off of. He's yeah. not giving him any opportunity. He's blocking the side switching, buster shots. Fantastic. Yeah, he's playing perfect. Um, I mean, obviously, he's dropping some combos and setups here, too, but that's Marvel, and it's tough to, to yeah. get everything down. It is an execution-heavy game, so. But it's not done yet. He's 2-1. to one. Richard had one quick round that he had. Apology Man grinded out the other two. Richard really wants to avoid these uh, these matches of attrition, the back-and-forth <coughs> grind. He wants to get in there make it a one-player game. Exactly. Jam session used early. Has to watch out. Apology Man's been really good at sniping assists. And can Richard get him from corner to corner with this? Oh, why, why am I even asking that? That's like a rhetorical it's question. zero. If it can happen in Marvel, Zero can do it. Here we go, Richard yeah. looking great. One more bar. Oh, he gets the reset. It, that, that worked out even better. Yeah, that did well, not yet. Oh, no oh, punish. That nope. seemed like to the frame he was able to block that. That was so lucky. Very lucky. Oh, and the lightning catch him on the top, but Richard's still not converting. So many chances given to Apology Man. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Zero is Zero's better dead. go down, yeah. Oh. oh, no, Apology Man making mistakes. And Apology Man missed two conversions there. Man. Oh, and the shopping cart keeping. Yeah, these guys are getting whacked by their own assist yeah. right there. Knocks him out of a super, it looked like. He is sitting in Sogenmu. Decided to use it in neutral. Is he going to convert from that? Yes, he got it. Yeah, he, Very Buster nice. Buster Shop putting him into a false state to convert. That's right, from super jump height too. So really good job from uh, Richard. Nice. Didn't have to waste any meter on that one too. That's ideal. Oh, got him that and time. he was on the same side. Anticipating a cross-up. Apology Man blocked the wrong way. Smart thing to do, though. I think you're a smart player when you get hit by a non-cross-up setup because you should be trying to block the cross-up for zero. That projectile invincible. Okay, it is. And high low. He just goes and low. He just went low. And yeah, it, you can't see it because the character is forced into a crouch visibly. But he may have been blocking high, but it wouldn't have shown because he was locked in by jam session. Got him. And that time it was a cross-up. And you can do that burst prank because he has no way to change his air mobility. Yes. Or his trajectory, I should say. So you can do these kind of wonky setups. Nice. That's so much damage off. So he would have got four lightnings, then he would have got the... Uh... Knocked down into three more lightnings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, lightning does something weird with X Factor. Like, it just doesn't scale at all. And it does, like, huge damage, so. Yeah, and on top of that, he was also in Devil Trigger, so. Right, oh, and Devil, yeah, and his Devil Trigger, that's right, which he does, like, a little more damage. Ooh, that was scary. And he's staggering those A's. Yeah, you just... can't get too scared for Super Skull. When you freak out, that's when Super Skull gets the hits. I, I, I want to see him do two A's and then a command grab, or one A and a command grab. He's not used the command grab one time. Uh -oh. He hasn't. He's only been using the fear of the command grab. Exactly. And now this looks like this could be the end for Apology Man Scroll. Is Richard? Oh, is Richard's oh. execution going to fail him when he needs it the most? He needs to pull it together. This is not when you want to start dropping combos. Did you combos. see how much Dante lost on that? I feel like Zero lost half health from that hook, too. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> and look at that. She's getting chipped out. Is he going to convert? Oh, he missed it. He wanted to call assist right there. <laughs> Pretty good neutral game so far from Richard. He's been able to fly around, land the combos. Nice tech, too. All right, so Richard looking for the angle of attack the black. Oh, there you go. Yeah. To throw the buster at. Oh, stray hit from Dante converted. Nix knocks him down. Oh, and one more. The uppercut this time. Turn it on. Yep. And it's going to go. And Dr. Doom. This. <laughs> Gone. Richard. What is the mix up? Get. What is the mix up? Good block. Good block, but you can't do anything because he's still at the advantage after a block buster. He is plus range after a buster, yeah. I believe, right? Yeah, after a fully charged buster. That's crazy, yeah. So you have to respect even that mix-up after. And going after scroll again? Oh, good block. Oh, this time. Finally got it. He used that mix-up three times. Yeah, Third exactly. time it worked. 
Oh, but oh. he failed to convert into the lightning there. Super Skull is not a level three character you want to deal with. Oh, got Dante right there. Another one, he's not gonna, it does punch zero. Dante Whoa. coming in, losing a ton of health. Good block, oh. guard broke him right there. Free attempt at the throw. Richard did not break it, and he is gonna lose he's Dante gonna over this. smash into Inferno. Apology uh -oh. man, this is one scary. character away. Misses it, cancels, it hits him. He X has X-Factor. X -Factor. Oh. And he finished the combo. That was Super! Amazing. Apology Man runs away with the 3 2 over Richard win. NorCal moving forward. And you can see Terry and the NorCal boys over there getting hyped. The crowd a little sapped of their energy. Wow. They are all Apology a Man. Salty. This is like a Cinderella player right here. It I don't really even is, know about man. him getting into the top eight. Wow. Yeah. Congrats to Apology Man. And he really took it to champ, too. That was a really good so. match. I, I don't know. I thought that was definitely. Fun to watch. Yeah, that, so, was, that was pretty interesting. So now up uh, next, once everybody clears out of the uh, immediate area, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of excitement. Know, there's a lot of bodies there, there, a lot of hugs, a lot of high fives, a lot of money changing places. Yeah, so. there you go. Apology man, getting his due props. Yeah. Uh, so I think they're actually gonna go ahead and talk to him, or if we're just gonna do it. Okay, so we're no, actually gonna we're gonna, be gonna, we're gonna interview something. knives. Knives. That's right. So why don't we go ahead and do that? What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm here with AGE Knives, and he's going to go up next against Haz, Haz Angelic. How do you feel about that match? You mentioned that you had played him earlier. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe he didn't expect us to have to run to uh, a tournament, tournament match so early. Uh, I feel really confident because um, right now I'm kind of invigorated by the anger of losing the previous match, <laughs> as well as uh, there's some information that he gave me that a lot of the players are unaware of regarding Shumer Gorath. He didn't actually verbalize it, but just in the matches that we played, there were things that I learned that I can punish that other people aren't punishing, as well as things that I know I can't punish so that I don't put myself in unsafe situations. Uh, I think if I just keep the pressure, get rid of Wolverine, the remainder of the match is going to be easier than easier for me because I've experienced it already than other, people's have, other people have been dealing with it. You seem to be very good at picking up uh, tendencies. How does one become so observant? <laughs> um, I guess I'm always trying to keep myself on check and try to make sure that I'm not you know, creating bad habits. So by being so hard on myself that way, I start to look at other people's habits in the same way. Um, I feel that a lot of times players are doing the same thing over and over, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. So I'm going to do my best to find out what are the bad things that they're doing so I can try to take advantage of that. Essentially, you're trying to play as safe as possible, but every character's game has a hole in it. And I'm just doing my best to find that so I can get it in. Awesome. Well, we'll see if you can find some holes in Angelic's game in just a second. Back to the commentators. <coughs> All right. So there you heard it from Nas. I really like his talk right there because I think that's how a champion approaches a lot of this that game is you look for weaknesses and exploit them. He was extremely analytical of uh, Angelic's gameplay, and apparently he saw some holes in it that he wants to exploit. So. There. Okay, so um, talking to Carter, actually, Hanzo Gonzo, he actually told me some things about Shuma where you know we were talking about how much damage he does but he is incredibly unsafe apparently so a lot of his special attacks are going to be punishable and maybe that's what Knives is talking about you don't want to be surprised by a character in Marvel because that can mean the difference between a win and a loss now 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 I know that his crouching B is it it hits super long it, it, it has the suck in effect too. suck in effect yeah. and and it's really hard to punish and then on top of that he has the move where he turns into a little the spike ball, spike ball. That, is that is punishable the a version I don't know we'll see I, well, I don't know. We, I, we will find out. Interesting. So they're sitting down. There you go. Nine's going to be on the right. All right. So, yeah, um, we were on the, the loudspeaker on there. So I didn't really want to, like, blurt it out. But oh, you don't want to give away the track. Right. I didn't want to give it out, but I'll go ahead and give the audience out just for you guys at home. But, um, yeah, the spike ball is, in fact, punishable by a throw. So it is an overhead, and it's incredibly quick, and it clutters <coughs> a lot of distance. But he will be able, in fact, able to punish it if he knows. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Right. Well, I, I know that Angelic is very aware of his character because he is trying to show that it's not a gimmick. Yes. And he definitely will use the crouching B a lot. He'll just do crouching B, crouching B, crouching B until you realize you have to block it low and you know you have to respect it. And then he'll use the spike ball. It's very, it's very tricky. And on top of that. He likes to do it with the level three, and he'll just cancel the spike ball if you block it into Chaos Dimension. Which, that makes sense, because he's trying to make it safe, and the fact yeah. that it is throwable. And Knives, you know, like uh, like he said, if he, if he walks uh, walks the walk, 
uh, from what he was saying, that he's going to know and he's going to exploit that character's weaknesses. So that's okay. pretty interesting um, what Knives had to say about this guy. So he did, they did defeat him earlier. Is that what I heard? That they ran into in the tournament I earlier? Maybe, or? I, I don't know. Maybe they played casual or something. Oh, okay. He, he said he got information. Right. But Angela got the first hit X Factor. Yes, you are. Because you're going to get rid of his best character. This is so smart, Peter. Yeah. I think this is how you should approach Knives. Oh, and he missed the S, which could have won. Oh, man. That's that's heartbreaking for uh, uh, But, Angela. I mean, he's, he's safe by... Shuma. X Factor. Oh no, no, you don't need to. That's right. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. I know he was trying to kill. Oh, just keep the damage. Oh, and he missed him. And Akuma is down, and he's gonna throw the up grapple to catch him. Oh, got it from Super Jump High. Oh, he missed. But he it. missed the second Super. Oh, yeah. and Shuma giving him the conversion. Oh, and that ah! might be it. Black Hole gets the pick up. Claws, tries to slide, it hits. Whoa. <laughs> and the body forcing Wolverine to turn around. No X-Factor seen for Knives. One match in a blink of an eye right there. And there was nothing that I saw that was exploitable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Except for Knives. Knives is like, oh, let me take that oh, back. Oh, man. That's big for Knives. And you can see Shuma's funny and hitbox. And X-Factor, yep. Rocket Punch, boom, launch him up. One, two, three. Not very efficient, but this is what he has to do with his team to it's, get the kill. And, and I mean, it's X-Factor Dormammu, so the comeback potential is definitely there. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Why would? Oh, he got the hit right Why there. Did not capitalize. He was sitting there doing a crouching B. Uh-oh. Good punish. Waited for the third hit, then X-Factor. Oh, that combo was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing because it used the least amount of X-Factor time possible. Yep. You could actually uh, Ooh, do the unfly nice. trick, too, the input nullification. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, my. Wow, smart. Very smart by Angelic and right there. And that is the end of Spence. Super. I would have used Stalker Flare instead. It probably would have worked. Yeah. I mean, he would have died smart. in the air. There is no way out. He has no x to stop. Oh, and... It's going to hurt. Not going to kill him. Yeah. It's definitely going to bring him to the lion. He's got to watch out, though. Knives has made a comeback like this a million times. You see how he uses the, Ooh, fish the beat to swat away the fireballs? And unfortunately, I mean, Knives might be concentrating on whatever perceived tactics he had a little too hard and not playing just a fluid game. Yeah, just not being more kind of uh, more fluid and just kind of uh, yeah, just adapting playing, with what's going on. Playing the match for what it is. Yeah. Interesting. And I mean, you can see Angelic just scheming, just waiting to get that one hit because that's all he needs. Oh, and Akuma almost losing his life to go through, through him. And uh, then Angelic is playing Shuma. very nice. Oh, you can hear Shuma in the background. Got him. Knives. Oh, he Ooh, cannot reach. Like, and if he gets any hit on that Spence, he is going to kill him. Oh, okay. So now Knives has a chance to get rid of the Wolverine who's been the source of his issues. It Actually, has, no, Dormammu was the issue. Yeah, thing. it has been a problem. Dormammu Ooh. also carrying his weight. Drops the combo right there. Armor Piercer to take I him out. Dormammu like that. coming armor in with the guy. took him out of the corner. Yeah, and unfortunate, it took him out of the corner, and the mix-up didn't work out. Team Super going to take out Spencer. Follow-up. Uh, that was unnecessary. That but but any, anything to get rid of Spencer. I, I could feel that. Anything to get rid of Spencer. Right? Oh, yeah, you could tell. He probably talked to his friend and said, you do whatever it takes to get rid of Spencer. Whoa. And he used all the elements right there. Unblockable. Unblockable. Got it. Has Angelic. And has Three, Angelic makes zero it into over top knives. eight. Knives getting ninth place. And oh, that yeah. is the, I believe that is the last match that we're going to do commentary for. That is the last match of the night and for that us. Was way, that, that was definitely a way for us to go out because that match <laughs> was pretty sick. Angelic, Angelic, yeah, Angelic is such a, the way he plays his team, I feel that it's very... It, it's it's very sequential. It's just this goes into this. Yeah. This goes into this. A Let me flow play. chart it. I have my own flow play. chart. You know, I created this team, and, and I that's know. That's smart. That's usually indicative of a smartly crafted team. You yes. know, because he sat there and he said, okay, when I do this and I kill that character, I can go into this sequence, and if that fails, I go to this sequence. You know, Shady K actually plays a lot like that, yeah. just with more complicated characters. So yeah, it's easier to do it with characters.